the Palestinian people are suffering uh, injustices that have yet to be rectified. Um, and the Christian community contributes to that. The Christian Zionist movement is super powerful, even more powerful than the Jewish Zionist movement. Ten to one, some might say. Many, many Christians will send money to Israel and they'll think you know, um, they'll send money to build playgrounds in Israel. But actually, they're building playgrounds in settlements that are built on land that's been confiscated from Palestinians. They don't know most of the time. I, when I went to the Holy Land for the first time, I was going on a spiritual pilgrimage to Israel, and I saw signs on that trip that said, Free Palestine. And I had three master's degrees and was getting my PhD, and I thought Palestine was a map in the back of my Bible. I had no idea. There was so much that I didn't know. Went to the Bethlehem Bible College. The founder of it, Bashar Awad, told his family's story and how his father was killed in 1948. And I learned the word Nakba, which means catastrophe. And I had never heard this story before. And I literally was overcome. Like you can see the tears in my eyes. I think it's devastating that literally millions and millions of Christians every year go to Israel and they never meet a Christian. Did you meet a Palestinian Christian? I think if Christian Zionists have the opportunity to be exposed to the reality of the Palestinian people, that they might have different thoughts and understandings about what's really happening in the Holy Land.